Hey, what's up guys, it's FemGem here, and today we're going to be bringing you a Harpy deck profile. I said I'd be working on this, so um, I finally have all the cards I need for it to have it completed. So, um, with all that being said, hope you guys enjoy, and if you do, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And let's, with that being said, let's get into the video. Uh, first off, I'm running three Harpy Lady. I'm running Harpy Lady 1 specifically. You can pretty much run any Harpy Lady you want. But I like running this one just because of the, um, the 300 attack gain. <laughs> then next up, you're gonna run two Harpy Harpish. Harpish is pretty good because, um, she has the effect where... This card is always treated as a Harpy Lady while on the field in the graveyard. And then when this card is normal summoned, you can target one other winged beast monster you control. And one face up monster your opponent controls. Return them to the hand. And during the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you could uh, you can add one level four winged beast monster. So it's kind of like a searcher effect, and then also it's a uh, a bounce effect. One Harpy Lady Sister. One Harpy's Pet Dragon for the um boost and also um just to use to get your um use with your channeler. One Harpy Oracle. Triple Harpy Perfumer. This is one of the newer cards. She's pretty awesome. Um, this card's name comes Harpy Lady. They all have the effect where they pretty much do Harpy Ladies on the field and in the graveyard. If this card is normal summon to special summon, you can add one spell or trap from your deck to your hand. That specifically lists the cards Harpy Lady Har or Harpy Lady Sisters in the text. And then also, um, if in the text, if you can if you control the level five or higher of a Harpy Monster. When you activate this effect, you can also add a second such card with a different name. Pretty cool surgery effect. Harpy Queen, most of you just, I run two of them, you can run three of them, but I preferably like two. But you use her to get your um, Harpy's Harping Ground to your hand, because you can discard her and search out the Harpy's Harping Ground, Haunting Ground. Um, next up we're running one, we're running two, three dancers, sorry. I know what number I'm at, but um, she's pretty good because she has the effect where when she's summoned, you can basically just bounce her back to the hand. And if you're trying to get rid of back row using Heartbeat's Harping Ground, you can summon her, bounce her back to the hand, get another monster usually, so you'll be able to get rid of your opponent's back, like two of your opponent's back row. Pretty good. I'm running Triple Chandler. Chandler obviously is like one of the best cards in this, that whole entire deck. Basically, when she's summoned, you can, um, special summon one Harpy monster from your deck in defense position. Except Harpy Chandler, and you can only use the effect once per turn. And while this card is control, it's dragon, while you control a dragon monster, this card becomes a level 7. So basically, you would just either use this to, um, bring out a Harpy monster, but if you want to, you could bring out Harpy Pet Dragon, and then... You're able to make this a level 7 and they're going to go into some XE's place. That's pretty good. Try to clear, try to clean this up a little bit. Um, for the control aspect, I run one barrier statue of the winds. For basically the fact that you can now just stop your opponent from special summoning if they don't play wind monsters. I run two Majesty Fiend for obviously control reasons. And two Vanity Fiend. Um, this one stops your opponent from special summoning. Yeah, neither player can special summon. This one, I think, is a spell. Yeah, oh, never mind. This is the monster effects. Sorry. Then for the hand trap, I run three effect veiler. You can run pretty much any hand trap you want. Um, Ash effect veiler and permanent. But, um,. I personally like Effect Veiler because I, well, not only is it more of a budget option, I feel like it's a little bit more versatile. Also, the fact that if you draw two, 
um, basically you're not limited to, um, using it once per turn, so you can target both your monsters, like, if your opponent basically summons a monster, you affect Valor it, and then they link it away, you can affect Valor Link monster if you have another one in your hand, which is kind of cool. Um, Harpy's Haunting Ground, obviously, for back row removal, mostly. It gives a little bit of a boost to your Harpy card, but... That's not really that important, and more of the point that whenever you normal summon or special summon, you just pop your opponent's spell or trap on the field. So basically, that's very good. Um, that's pretty much why I don't really run that much back re removal in this. Like, I I really can only... The biggest um, scenario I would take up would be Mystic Mine. It'd be very easy to get rid of Mystic Mine if you can just summon one, and then you pop the Mystic Mine, because technically that's a spell effect, that's not the monster's effect. Um, then I run three Hysteric Signs for, um, combos. Harpy's Fe I do run one Harpy's Feather Duster just because it's Harpy's Feather Duster. Like, it's just good. I know it's a specific Harpy card, but it's, like, also just, you can just put this in any deck. It's really good. Just wiping back row. I run three Elegant Ego Fists. Three Harpy's Feather Rest. One double or nothing, and two hysteric parties. Obviously, um, if you saw me running the double nothing, you obviously know what's probably going to be in my back row. But anyway, I'll go into the extra deck. I mean, what what will be in my extra deck? What did I say, back row? Bad. If I run one Seymour Bird of Sovereign King, two Harpy Conductors. One Nightmare Phoenix, one Nightmare Unicorn. You can feel free to add a Cerberus if you want, but I really don't. I don't want to. One Boral Thor, Thor Dragon. Um, I run three Harpy's Pet Phantasmal Dragon, but I just kind of ran out of room mostly. <laughs> I was not sure what I wanted to fit in here. You can kind of fit in any of these. Um, most of the XC's monsters are pretty flexible. Like, I would say maybe run a one on one shark. And then maybe another Xyz. But you can pretty much move around. So I run one Select, the um, Sky Blaster. One Big Eye. One Utopia Double. One 39 Utopia, obviously. You do have to run that if you're going to run Utopia Double. One Ice Beast Zephron. Or Dairy Fine. And one number 50 back black ship of corn. That's pretty much it for the deck profile, guys. Um, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not already, and um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.